Greetings everyone, welcome back. Alright, let's continue on. We're still in the main square. I'm gone. Whoop. Hear me, take heed. The hordes of the abyss march on Canabras. The watchstone is their target. They must not be allowed to capture it. The consequences will be disastrous. Yeah. So much we gathered. The Temple of Desna. Hmm. Ben Fair of the Faithful. Follow my steps. Incense, fine feather, gold coin. An altar of Desna, goddess of luck, patron of deity, of travelers and dreamers. I think Desna is the, uh, the butterfly one. So in between episodes, I had a look online to see, uh, to see about those shadows that we've, we were fighting. Um, didn't really learn a whole lot. Um, but yeah, well, the thing I knew kind of already. They seem to be resistant against um, Okay, that sucked. Flat-footed. Yep, flat-footed because we could, got caught off guard. Okay, I hit you. Yes. Hmm. Stand over there. Ember. Mm. Or oh, can I can you hit that one? Okay. Surrender or else. Ah. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. The inheritor. Good. good, good, Attack. Nice. Continue fighting. Nope. Yeah, the thing with the shadows is just hit them with uh, magic damage. Oh, where are we? Oh, back here again. We didn't actually save, did we? No. I uh, kind of got um, blindsided. Okay, there's no. I'm gone. Maybe I should take a moment to read some books. Uh, the books that I picked up. Uh, I won't read them out loud. Maybe if I do, I'll probably give a, uh, a summary after I've read them. While well, not recording, I guess. Watch and learn. Let's see. Why don't you go over here? You've crossed the wrong last one for me. Nice. Uh, stand over here. Sheila. Over there. Maybe you can hit that one. I don't think you can. Or maybe you can actually. Let's see. Surrender or else. No. No. Stand there. Still get it. Still get a turn. That's a shame. No, Wolf. Wait it out. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. You take that one. 
Too late for apologies. Nope. Come on, Len. There you go. There you go. Can you also move a bit? All right. This is all because you're still uh, cloaked. There you go. Right. The light. Nice. Thank you. Oh, I forgot I something. I should have looked up. Uh... Attack. Kind of a good build for Ember, Endure or maybe this. some advice on what to do with her. I cannot attack. Hit, get a little bit closer. Cover me, all right. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trust in yourself. What's on your mind? I wonder. Yes. Yes. Anything good? Hmm. All right. Nope, nothing there. One thing they did mention is get um, Finnegan, I think they meant. Or it's called actually, I don't remember the name, but I do remember what it is. We find it in um, Ruljif's uh, quest. It's in the uh, in the shop we're meant to go to. There is an item there. That could help us out. Count Aronde's servant. Th thank to God I found someone who isn't fleeing in panic. Are you crusaders, mercenaries? The com comely half-elf is so frightened he can barely get the words out. I am a, a servant of Count Deron Kale Nevis Arande. My lord's mansion is under attack by de demons. The master himself is, and all his guests are trapped inside and the house guards are nowhere to be found. I managed to escape through the servant's passage to look for help. Will you help me? The mansion is only a stone's throw away on the next street over. He meets your gaze with pleading eyes. Count Arande. I have seen him a few times before. From afar, he looked highly audacious. I confess that he did capture my attention, but that's neither here nor there. We should help him. The gratitude of the rich and influential man can only be benefit us. Succeed in the knowledge of the world check. You have heard about the Arande family before. This wealthy and noble Mandavian di dynasty was almost wiped out by the demons more than 10 years ago. The last surviving members of the family, the young Count Baron, uh, has an, or maybe Diran, um, has an infamous reputation. He is well known as a rake and a rogue. His fortune continues to dark the house of Arendae, I see. Tell me more about what happened. What will I get if I help? Alright, I'll help. Where is your master's house? Um, tell me more about what happened. I'll tell you what I can. I was working from dusk till dawn and back to dusk again, serving guests at the Count's banquet. When the other servants came to relieve me at my post, I went to sleep. Next thing I know, I wake up and there are demons inside the mansion. I couldn't even reach the Count. The monsters had blocked away. The Count's banquet was still going on. He and his guests were in the Great Hall and as far as I could tell, the door to the room was sealed and the demons couldn't get in. I'm begging you, hurry. The mansion door is... Our the mansion's doors are sturdily built. The demons will have to work hard to get past them. So you still have time to rescue the people inside. Hmm. This seems kind of not really a thing for us to say. What will I get? No, I don't have time for this. Yeah, alright, I'll help. 
It's not far at all. You're better off entering from the next street over. Through, through the passage I used to get out. Help, I'm begging you. I hate to think that the Count will do to me if I don't... <laughs> I, hate, I hate to think what the Count will do to me if I don't bring help. He's not even worried about what the demons will do. Alright. No better time for a banquet. See, I, re I remember the Darren character. Ooh, another one of those strangers. Remind me a bit of, um... G-Man. Half-Life, almost. They're just somewhere. Standing. Judging by the size of the blood stain, the blood... The body... The body of something truly enormous was dragged over these stones. To render that, most likely. Yeah. I I'm thinking something will happen to... Terendralev, we will. Now, what is that? Something is going to happen. Ah. Either, the, either um, she might be resurrected as an evil something, I guess. Maybe as a as a demonic mockery, or because having having been introduced like that and then just dying off straight away seems seems uh, something that. Uh, well. And I'm, I don't see it happening. Unless... Well, even then. Unless Terendalev was some kind of known figure in the Pathfinder universe and they just had to get rid of her somehow. Well, otherwise the story wouldn't make sense. But I doubt it. Ooh. Neophyte Cleric. Okay, people. Dredge Cultist Cleric. Alright, get the clerics. Make every strike count. Oh, Good job. Fighter, cleric, alright. <laughs> we'll jiff. Um we'll go here. Can you hit? I think you, you do. Stop us. No, you don't. Nope. Hmm. Stand over there. You do. No, we already have it. Send over there then. Can she retry to go into stealth? Cannot hide in shadows, enemies are near. Alright. Old Jeff, can you do that? Yeah, should I? It's your turn next. Eh, let's see. Let's fail the saving throw. Many malign spells allow the target to make a saving throw to elude their effects, partially or completely. Three types con constitution, reflex, and will. Yeah. Increase their ability scores for uh, scores for protective business use protective business. I think we've had this before. Ember. Surrender or else. Good job. Uh, nice. Do we hit the dredge here? Yeah. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Nice. Can you? No. Hmm. Here, I'll give you a debuff. Ha! Can you hit them? Yes. I'll cut you wide open. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Nice. Too late for apologies. The inheritor, guide my blade. You won't survive me. 
Aim carefully. Mm. The spirits command your blood. Ooh. Good job. Yep, taking it, taking it. Must work. Ooh, half plate. Half plate plus one. There we go. I'm thinking you should wear it. There we go. Took you a long while to catch up with uh, Elodine. Yeah, you have and a ring and this and an extra shield. Well, I think we might be... Are we already specialized in shields? I don't think so, actually. We could be. Oh, well. It's hard to believe that a place that this place recently had a bustling and festive market. Hmm. Midnight bolt. The owner of this bolt can shoot it to deal 50 points of damage. It can be ignored or reduced. This bolt cannot miss. Oh boy. Sword, light mace. Let's head out. What's this? The demon invasion transformed all of Canabras into one great battlefield, but nowhere in but nowhere in the city suffered as much as this square. This place saw a clash of titans, the demon lord Descarbi leading his horde from the abyss and the dragon Terendalev, the mightiest of the city defenders and one of the first to fall. The scene of destruction leaves no doubt as to the battle's outcome. A skilled scout could recreate the course of the battle's moment by moment simply by looking at the ruins. From the chimneys torn down by powerful wings in the sharp dive to the bloody tracks left behind when the demon dragged away the noble reptile's broken body. There we go. But it's no hypothetical scout gazing upon the ruins, it is Elodine, and she is not alone. The shadows of a strange, barely perceptible presence linger over this place, like a gaze untethered from any observer. This mysterious force, unknown to mortal kind, silently assesses, judges, and seeks a better way. In an instant, Elodine is fested with this power and looks to the world with its eyes. The past, present, and future stand before her as a unified whole. An unmoving, multifaceted crystal that would be beautiful if it were not fractured, for the fractured blemishes and flecks marring its splendor. Mm. Well, what future does he see, I suppose? Good and evil, chaos and order. Everywhere, in its lawful place in the multiverse, and it is no longer trespassing where it does not belong. Nothing is disrupting the smooth and steady current of the river of souls from life into death and back to life again. The reality, rid of its flaws, is now perfect, and the eons withdrew, withdraw to eternally admire its beauty, which will never be threatened again. Uh, the river of souls. River of Souls is the name given to the constant migration of mortal souls from the material plane to Phrasma's Boneyard in the Outer Sphere, where they are judged and sent to their eternal life. On the Astral Plane, the River of Souls resembles a massive winding silver thread. Uh, those who approach can see the countless souls moving through the silver haze like so many schools of fish. The esoteric tradition considers the River of Souls to be a, very, to be a ley line and simply one part of the multiverse's network of magical pathways. All right. What past does he see? In the past exists the one who wielded his gaze in life. Although the one and life are inappropriate terms for eons, the supernatural embodiment of cosmic balance rather than who or what, a better word for these entities is how, this eon appeared from the outside, from outside this world, from the great beyond, to put an end to the intermingling of the planes and destroy the world wound. The chasm disrupting the order of the multiverse. Alas, the visitor from beyond proved too weak for the battle they came to fight. They even failed to finish casting the spell that would have sent Discari back to the abyss. 
With one swing of his scythe, the demon lord cut the eons down. What present does he see? Alright. Purple stone knife. Ruins, blood, corpses. None of this perturbs the eons' dispassionate gaze. The living are alive, the dead will be judged in Phoresma, by Phoresma. All is as it should be, but the demon circling the sky or prowling through the streets create a jarring juxtaposition like splashes of blood red ink on a, re on a restra restrained pencil sketch. Right. Restrained pencil sketch. They should not be here. The world of mortals is for mortals. The demon's place is in the demon world. How sublime the world would be if everything in it knew its place. But even the demons aren't as abhorrent as the sharp edged, unassuming crystal languaging in the dirt among the bricks and smashed cobblestone. No mortal would notice it, but to the eon's eyes, its mere existence is an outrage against universal laws. If the eon still existed, they would not stop until the crystal was unmade, but the eon is gone, and only their gaze remains. Aladdin picks the crystal up out of the dirt and stows it in a pocket. Stows her in a pocket. She is mortal, which means she has the power to decide what to do with it. Purple stone knife. Hmm. After allowing the heroine to view the world through their eyes, the little that remained of the destroyed Eon is killed, even appropriate here, in the, for an entity that is so removed from life and death that, as we understand them, Beyond passion, beyond mercy, beyond reason, the faceless caretakers of reality toil without end, silently struggling to preserve the t tenuous balance upon which all existence depends. These voiceless forces are the eons, inscrutable shapers and elim eliminators of the multiverse. They exist beyond the understanding of most mortals, endlessly striving towards the goals unfathomable even to many of the plane's oldest inhabitants. Eons build, build order from the chaos of the maelstrom seed new life upon barren, barren worlds and halt the rampages of forces grown overbold. They rent nations to vapor, dismantle planets into cosmic dust and pave the way for calamities. Eons embody the plane spanning hand of a metaphorical omni omnipotent clockmaker endlessly turning and adjusting the myriad of gears of reality in pursuit of ultimate perfection. Mm. Uh, used up in his last vestiges of energy, now they are ready to disperse into nothingness. Unless someone decides to preserve the Eon within themselves, will the heroine take on this power? So that she may ga again look to the world through another's eyes, or will she allow it to finish, vanish? Requires Aeon Mythic Path, retain the Eon's power within yourself, allow the Eon's power to dissipate. Huh. I don't really know what we would um, allow in or cast aside. Can we be... Hmm. I don't think would be right to accept something like that, seeing our character. I don't think there's much glory in it, or or something a follower of Eomude would do, as far as I know. It seems almost forbidden knowledge in a way, but I'm also kind of worried. It also seems like um, that you're kind of saying no to. Uh, No to some content the game has to offer that might be interesting or or abilities that might be interesting mm. let's allow the power to dissipate i guess yeah that's kind of my first instinct even though it's tempting mm. what a week we're having first we get uh, the power of heavens that's a uh, yariel sword and now we get uh, power of an eons if we were to accept it 
Aladdin is not the kind of person who relies on any eyes but her own. The final traces of the Eon's existence fade away, sending one last look of farewell at her. That piercing, unyielding gaze, full of understanding of something significant, even as it takes that understanding with it into oblivion. Yeah. Did we save? Let's see. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Alright, let's have a quick... Let's go through it again and uh, um, accept it. Let's see what happens. Again, if it's not... I'm gone. All right, here it is. What past, present, future. Okay, continue. Retain the eon's power within yourself. The spirit of the eons dwells out of sight, but deep in Aladdin's soul, like a pair of magical spectacles, stout away until the moment when when the heroine once again needs to look at the world through another's eyes. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound bad, does it? The spirit of the Eon dwells out of sight, deep in Aladdin's soul. Like a pair of magical spectacles, stout away until the moment when the heroine once again needs to look at the world through another's eyes. I don't know. Uh, I don't know much about the mythic path options. I know you can be good and evil, but I don't know about this one. Should we keep it? I think I I did away with it last time, so maybe just for interest, Jake might just go with it this time. It doesn't. It doesn't seem. Again, first inclination was to send it away, but it doesn't seem like we're harnessing some evil power or anything it doesn't let's keep it we'll keep it follow my steps again more more so because I I didn't last time run. Ramian, my beloved brother, I admire your zeal, of course, but would you not agree that this is hardly the time to be standing guard over a hole that no one will ever emerge from? Or perhaps you're concerned that someone will decide to go for a nighttime stroll and will actually fall into it. Such foresight is laudable. But do you really need so many soldiers for such a task? Can't, you, can't your warriors be put to better use, for instance, fighting demons? or clearing rubble, while the people trapped beneath beneath it might still be alive. The demons still haven't entirely broken through this defenses of Knobras, but time is running out. Uh, the face of the golden curled Azamar is beautiful even by the standards of his kind, in whose veins runs the blood of angels. His melodious voice sounds cheerful, but bitter reproach simmers in his gaze. Don't you dare call me brother heretic. The signs of recent hard fighting are obvious in this stern old man. His armor is dented and covered in blood, and his unnatural pallor suggests something more dangerous than wounds inflicted by claws and fangs. Nevertheless, his gaze is stony, and his voice, accustomed to barking orders, is harsh and clipped. How dare you accuse me of doing nothing to protect this city, especially now when followers of your temple were caught committing treason. To my mind, you are no different than the demon worshippers, those miscreants, those beasts that are digging under the city walls. Everyone knows, my dearest prelate, that in your zealous pursuit of order in the city, you have long since forgotten how to tell friend from foe and good from evil. That's what happens with my adepts. Adepts. Adepts? Adepts. Adepts whose act of treason was a genuine attempt to save the city, and yet again I am forced to repeat myself. While we are wasting time on pointless quarrels, people are dying under the rubble in our city. People whom we could have saved if you had only set your soldiers to the task, and not kept them here, surrounding a useless and utterly harmless hole in the ground. 
Ops. Well. Um. Well, if it isn't well if it's on your say so then that must mean there is someone down there your associates no doubt and they're just waiting for us to abandon our post before they slink out and try again the old man notices your approach and you i remember you you appeared in my city the day the demons attacked and the redland left died what are you doing here answer uh, answer me at once or i'll have you strung up by your ankles before you know it don't think that the demons have wounded me i still have enough strength to take on a hundred of your sort and what is this hideous creature? Alron peers at Lan with suspicion. Lan, at your service. The mongrel ducks his head in a bow. My forebears fought in the First Crusade. I've lived in Canabras my whole life. You haven't ever seen me before? Ah, it must be because I, uh, you don't ever venture into the underground district. We have been meaning to complain to the big, to the city authorities that our paving stones have been in need of repair for a long time. Yeah, deck, what was it? 70, 70 years? Sure. The first crusade, so you're no mongrel. No, probably longer than that, actually. You, uh, so you're a mongrel. Hmm. You obviously know human speech surprisingly well. In fact... Alright. Let's be off with you. The prelate looks at you. If he causes any trouble, I shall hold you responsibly. Responsible. Come to think of it, you still haven't told me who you are. I'm a crusader fighting to liberate... Canabras from the demons? Why are you asking me such a question? You want to fight? Be my guest. Yeah, we uh, we are a crusader. Crusader, you say? Hmm. I'll be looking into that. You obviously don't know to whom you are speaking. I'm the one who decides who's a crusader and who's a traitor in this city. Hallrun Shepok, prelate of Canabras. By the grace of Her Majesty Queen Gelfry, and the city's defender against threats from within and without. And, as we can see, you've done a sterling job protecting the city. The golden curled Asimar flashes a flint flinty smile. I am Ramium of Epme, pr prior of the Temple of Desna, which alas currently lies in ruins. Yeah, we just came from there. Wise Holron here believes it is vital to guard this hole in the ground from which he is certain demons will emerge at, every, at any moment. I have been trying to convince him that the city has far more urgent matters to deal with. For instance, rescuing those currently dying under the rubble. You know what? There may in fact be one matter that is more important than guarding this hole. I've put it off and put it off and look where it's led us. I should have... I should have had you hung from the gates back when you dared to defend your gang of delinquent demon collaborators. If the Sarkorians had changed, hanged Arelu Vorlash uh, while they had the chance, there never would have been even been a war. I won't repeat their mistake. I won't hesitate any longer. Soldiers, cease this gum. Uh, Arelu Vorlash was the uh, the witch that um, opened the world wound. Prelate, see reason. These are fighting time, frightening times. Well, and fighting times. But threatening to hang someone without trial? That is unworthy of a servant of Iomide. The old man fixes his eyes on Sila. Lest you forget, girl, we may serve the same goddess, but you are not an inquisitor. Don't question the way I choose to serve Iomide, and I won't question yours. Let's see, what precisely are you accusing Ramian of, Inquisitor? Requires angel path, lawful, what you're doing, you're doing what's right, Holron. There's no place in the crusade for troublemakers. We could also say nothing. We just, uh, <laughs> whip the light of heaven out. Let's see what happens. Whoosh. The old man frowns and whispers something, a prayer or a spell. With each word, his face relaxes. You are telling the truth. The light of your hand was wrought with the power of heaven. I will keep an open mind with regards to you, stranger. And later, under less fractious circumstances, I would like to ask you about how you came to receive this gift. But that can wait. Now I must deal with this filth once and for all. What precisely are you accusing Ramium of, Inquisitor? Treason. 
Not long before the city was attacked, several followers of his temple tried to secretly access the wardstone and perform an unknown ritual over it. Alron is trembling with fury. The wardstone of Canabras, the gift of Yomade, the bringer of light, wrought by the hand of, the, of her herald. The first in the chain, and followers of that crazy runt of a goddess tried to meddle with it using their magic. After hearing a voice in their dreams, my soldiers almost had them caught. When Ramian got in the way, allowing the traitors to go to go to ground. I made a mistake. I didn't have him locked in a cell and interrogated to within an inch of his life. And now the city lies in ruins. It's time to rectify that mistake. I've told you before and I'll tell you again. My people foresaw the attack of the city. They knew the Wardstone already carried the seed and corruption within itself. And they were simply trying to heal it. I've heard similar claims before. Now where was it? Ah yes, from Snorton Vane, the traitor who brought down Dresden. The lesson of that past have taught us a great deal. The lessons of the past have taught us a great deal. And that is why I never believed you or or your mob of lies, even for a second, and I was right. Hmm. No other option then. I don't really like this lawful option. It's not lawful good. It is lawful, I suppose. He has the Inquisitor. He has the right. Chaotic, don't lay a finger on him. Let's uh, keep our mouth shut. Ramian looks at the prelate. You're a fool, Herlan. You're a zealot. Holron. You're a zealot and a murderer. But you're a fool first and foremost. I told you that the wardstone was weakened. You wouldn't listen. I warned you the city was going to be attacked. You shooed me away. The truth is that my young adepts were trying to save the wardstone. And you stopped them. Of course, those truly responsible for this tragedy are the demons. But you have done nothing to prevent it. And now you would still rather kill an innocent man and perish yourself than admit that you were wrong, as always. With a wave of, a of his hand, the Azamar vanishes. Well, that wasn't really a wave of the hand. Kind of a wave of the hand and a, and a dainty strut. He fled the heretic. He's no doubt expecting me to rush off in pursuit, but that won't work on me. Alvaron turns his attention to you. What about you? If you truly had been marked, been marked out for a gift from heaven, this is your chance to save the city. Go and bring back the filthy traitor. I am almost certain that he and his cronies were helping the demons Either knowledgeably or unknowingly. Their attempt to be witching to bewitch the watchstone is clear proof Ramian must be captured. Let's see. I see you suffered greatly in battle. Why are you obsessed with finding enemies everywhere you look? Ramian really warned you about the attack. There's nothing chaotic <laughs> chaotic. The city will be better off without you. There's nothing dangerous in this hole. You have no reason to guard it. Where can I find Ramian? Did uh did Ramium really warn you about your attack? Those crazed Desnans. What, what is this? Oh, right. Followers of Desna were always bursting into my study, study with their incoherent prophecies that came to them in their dreams. I won't lie, sometimes what they said did come to pass, but can we really rely on the woolly dreams of heretics over the cold heart facts of intelligence reports? Plenty of demons could have easily fooled them and whispered a tre treasure treasonous plan in their dreams and those lunatics could have been only too happy to listen this this time mr curls for brains came to me and declared that demons were about to attack the city and that the wardstone's power was diminished with some kind of contamination or taint iomade forgive me for even repeating the words after uh, after uttering such blasphemy he should have been locked up along with his fellow followers and interrogated but instead i simply increased the civilians on them and what next? My people got them red-handed trying to attack the war stones with unknown magic. And not three days later, the demons attacked. There's an obvious connection between these events. Whether deliberately or under demonic influence, the Desnans played right into the hands of the Discari hordes. And they almost had the city completely defenseless. Ramian covered for his people the whole time and helped them escape my guards. After that, what else can he be but a traitor and a heretic? Hmm... It was a bit worse for wear. I see you suffered greatly in battle. Nonsense. I had to deal with a brood of nebuses. 
It was nothing. I've taken on worse enemies with the goddess's help. Knowledge failed. The Inquisitor seems hale and hearty, but you're not sure if his wounds truly are minor or if it's all just bravado. Hmm. Um, where can I find Ramian? I think he's at the, um, he went to the uh, temple. How should I know? The weasel can't have gone far. He turned invisible. He's probably hunkered down in some hole like the traitorous little rat he is. And he'll be sitting, trembling and waiting till he's dragged out of here. Well, the with the prelate after you, that seems the only sensible thing to do. It's what I do. I'm sure lots of things found sound sensible to you. And it works too, as you can see, I'm still alive. Uh, let's not... Um, no. I don't think I should uh, try to uh, anger him in any way. I have to go. Go on then, if you have to. It would be good if you could return with the head of that scum. Ember appears intently at Hall Run. I remember you. When father and I arrived in the city, you met us. What is this gibberish? As if I have nothing better to do than to arrange meetings with vagrants. But it's true. You and the other knights tied us, <laughs> tied us to stakes and started lighting a bonfire. Father died and then one of your knights changed his mind and pulled me from the flames. But then he died too. Don't you remember? If you were burned, then it was with good reason. You, seem, you say some traitor helped you escape from the fire. That is a crime in itself, which means that you have been invading justice all these years. If it weren't for the invasion, I would review your case and see that your sentence was finally fulfilled. You're lucky that we have more important matters to deal with right now. He didn't look the way he does now, all wrinkled and grey. He was young, with a big moustache. Ember smiles broadly as she draws a large bushy moustache in the air with her finger. You probably forgot all about me, it was a long time ago. But I do want to say one thing. I'm not cross with him. This knight is a true hero. He just really, really wanted to protect his city. Only he got all mixed up about who was good and who was evil. I'll run you send an innocent child to be burned at the stake. Don't you want to ask her for forgiveness? You forgive him after what he did to you? I'll kill you for this, you swine. Um, let's just go. Yes, let's go. Bye bye, kind knight. She waves at Holron with a carefree smile. Holron grimaces and turns away. Alright. Yet another obstacle. Uh -oh. Shoot him. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. There you go. Camellia. Get close. And hit him. Attack. Yep, there. Cover me, all right. Nice. Done. The Eagle Watch will not abandon its post no matter what happens. Oops. Use the trunk to cross the gap. Alright, oh, yeah, we've been there. 
Stories told us by spirits. The Knight with Horrowed Hands. Canabra's Medium Alliance Publishing. What, what, what? Oh. I'll cut you wide open. Aim carefully. Too late for apologies. Did find trouble? No, they did. Ah, they're coming out of the, uh... You won't survive me. Be careful, everyone. I'll hit you. The inheritor, guide my blade. The spirits demand your blood. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Hmm. Let us be careful. Let's go back to. Um... But it was also a house. I think we could explore. Oh, we could go here. We could also back go. We step on their toes oh as crap! Well? A swarm. Two of them. Crap! They're on me already. Probably move out a bit. Um, All right. Oh, crap. Well, I do. Now, I think they're hard to hit, but you could still hit them, I think. Endure 
Forwards. Nice. I still have one, right? One damage. Into the fray. You are today's sacrifice. Make every strike count. Ooh. What's on your mind? I wonder. It's something. These people are not killed by demons. Ordinary weapons. Not good. Not good. Tread lightly. Did we get that loot? No. There he is. The absence of an answer is answer two. Oh, we've read that one in the um, the loading screen tips. This errand is complete. Scrawny tiefling, watch it, watch it. What are your goons doing? You'll bloody crush me. A young tiefling li rice lies trapped in a collapsed section of the tunnel. Another two tieflings scrambling around trying in vain to free him from the rubble. The demons still haven't entirely broken through the defensive, but the time is running out. What? Hmm. Quit whining. Hey, alarm. Someone's coming. Maybe she'll help us. Wise up, would you? Before you get us killed. Let's make a run for it while we still can. No, come on, don't leave me. I'll die here. Hey, guys. See, you're in a bit of a jam. Get a load of this lot, and no escort either. Bull Jif, you little shite. How are you not dead yet? And who is that with you? They, they're friends of mine. Great guys. Bull Jif turns to you, and out of the corner of his mouth says, Listen, do me a solid. Help me drag this sorry carcass free. They'll repay you. Cross my heart. Um. Let's try to help. Succeeded. You easily cleared the rubble and freed the trapped thiefling. An action that was good. Phew, I'm alive. And all in one piece, give or take. Thank you. I'll remember your kindness for the rest of my life. The freed tiefling turns to his companions. And you two clowns, I don't want to hear a word out of you. Get into that tunnel now. One trip, just to the Grey Garrison and back. Don't be a coward. It's not going to collapse. Go or else we came all this way for nothing. That ended well, didn't it? Wist? Not now. Talk later. The tiefling eyes you and elbows his jetty companion in the ribs, causing him to double over in pain. Sounds very suspicious to me. Come on. Come clean. Who are you? Everything's alright now? Then go. And try not to get trapped under any more rubble. Well, the tieflings. Alright, alright, alright. Don't hurt us. People call us tieflings. Well, we, well, we... <laughs> we kind of skirt around the edges of the law. That's how we make our living. Say some tyrant bans books that show stuff he don't like. Or fancy, or fancy Kionin wine that he don't drink. Is it wrong that we step in to fill a gap in the market? Or there's a demand for it? Someone else gets got to sell it. Don't go thinking we're gangsters or anything. Our only concern is making the lives of citizens easier for a little coin. People in the city can't even breathe without breaking some stupid regulation or restriction. Take this tunnel that collapsed on top of our friend, for instance. It leads straight to the Grey Garrison. Thanks to it, any soldier whose throat feels is feeling a little dry, or who's needing some nighttime reading material, can get all the things. We can get all the things for him, and his heartless superiors refuse to. We're providing a public service. 
let's see. I help you, now you can help me and command a terror blade to save Gunabras. The militia needs people with various skills, even one as unusual as yours. Yep. You what? Are you blind or something? The tiefling points at his horns <laughs> and his tail. Know what people call us? Erilu Spawn. And that's not one of the nicer nicknames. And that's one of the nicer nicknames. Uh, Crusaders and tieflings don't mix. We'll be torched on sight. Whoa, whoa. Terrorblade? Irabeth Terrorblade from the Eagle Watch. Lads, we have to help her. She's the only big shot. She's one of the only big shots in this town that actually treats us with any decency. Why should we risk our necks for the Crusaders? Because Irabeth risks her neck for hours. She saved me from that creep hull run. Yanked me straight out of his torture chamber. Only a worthless tow rag would refuse to help to help her out after that. Nah, nah, -uh. I'm not listening to any more of this. The tiefling makes a show of covering his ears. You do what you want. I'm heading to the River Kingdoms. The River Kingdoms has long been a haven for inland pirates, anarchists and exiles. <laughs> Go on then. I'm going with the Crusaders. And I'm going to round up the others to help. The tiefling smirks. We've made some good money in the city and it'd be a shame to surrender it instead of a meal ticket to the demons. But enough yammering. So long. Tieflings have joined the crusade. I guess the passage is uh, is done. No use in uh, trying that one. Quiet steps. Weapons ready. You only have two left. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. They will break against our resolve. You won't stop us. Hmm, there's something here that makes the camera kinda wobbly. Let's maybe turn around a bit. Jeff. Try it. Nice. Damage reduction. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Place is blocked. The light take you. Surrender or else. Nice. Survive me. A solid plan. Ooh. What are we doing on XP? Well, we're getting there. It's Eomide. Despite all the city's troubles, the, si the statue of Eomide towers proudly I'm over gone. the streets. Climb down. Try. Anything up there? No. Pretty good, aren't I? Nope, not been here. Sling staff. Hmm. Eagle watch will remain. Follow right. my steps. All saying the same thing. Taking it. I'm out of sight. All right. Meditate on your mistakes. Might make you feel better. Endure this. Can we <laughs> retreat already? That's a shame. That's a shame. All right. Like you, you'll hit anything. Nope. 
distract them for me. Too late for apologies. Attack! I'll cut you wide open. Come on. Make every strike count. Well. Go past. Let's hope he does. I'll hit you. Uh, guess you don't. Aim carefully. Nice. The spirits demand your blood. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. The Inheritor, guide my blade! Time to share your treasures! You won't stop us. Forwards! You are today's sacrifice! Mm. You won't survive me! Into the fray! There you go. Let's stand before you, in case you attack. We'll get an attack of opportunity. I'm standing here. Cover me, all right? Surrender, or else. There we go. Nope. Must work. Take it. Mm, yep. Take those. Crap. Hmm. Fighter, a foker, shield. You've crossed the wrong you retreat line. already. <laughs> Crap. So maybe we should get a uh, something going. Uh, let's get a bless. No reason to pause. I saw that. I was never good at stealth, Whoa. but I'll try. <laughs> Watch and learn. Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. Be careful, ah! everyone. There we go. Ooh, quite a bit of fur. Fuck you.
No. Get a bit closer. Oh, they don't get a turn, right? Because it's uh, our. Uh, uh. Surrender or else. The light take you. Good. Uh, you take that one, then um, Wolchief can take the other one, or then Wolchief might run into that one. Let's do it like this. How far can you go? Oh, land is doing pretty bad. Um, well, I can use a potion. I'll cut you wide open. Right. But no thanks. We're on the wrong person again because it doesn't update. Okay. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Oh, that sucks. Your blood. You won't survive me. Cover me, all right? Come on. <laughs> nope, that's no good. on your mistakes might make you feel better save the last one for me Same problem again. Surrender or else. Oh, we just out of reach. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cover me, all right? Don't you just die already? Go. Too late for apologies. You crossed the wrong mongrel. Okay. Um. Cut you wide open. 
do need to take one of these. Attack! Survive me. Good. I shall keep it for someone else. Right. Um. Nice. The inheritor. Guide Good. My blade. Yep. This was unexpected. According to plan. Aim carefully. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Go on. You won't stop us. Good. Good, good, good. Um. Distract them for me. Surrender or else. Um. Yes. Yes. Get up, Lan. Endure this. <laughs> Solid plan. Right. Oh, club. Club with nails. Snow snowball. Six to eleven. Let's try it for a bit. I don't think uh, Sheila is, is um, specialized in longsword yet, so it doesn't really matter that much. The Greatest challenge. Something wrong. Rely on me. The road awaits. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. There you go. Hey, 
Hey, mongrels. The young mongrel looks around in every direction but up. Maybe we should go back. This place isn't for us. It's too open. The enemy could come from anywhere. And the air is weird. Why does it keep moving so fast? Another mongrel stares straight ahead, gripping his blade in his trembling fist. No, not one step back. This is our test. Don't look at anything but the target. The only encounter with Hosilla and demon Savel Malak, he resisted the blood rage and reckoned and awakened the light of heaven inside you. So, you made it. Good to see you all. How is old, how is old Sol doing? Still waiting and thinking? Well, don't worry. He'll make up his mind soon enough. You won't be hanging about on the ground for much longer. <laughs> Die, monsters! What are you doing here? Right now, we need everyone who can hold a weapon. I have a plan. Go back below ground and wait at the shield mage's exit. We'll get the beast at both ends. Well, you've made it out now. Do whatever you need. What are you doing here? The young man turns to you. He has one, he has one he healthy eye and a lumpy crow for where the second should be. It's you! It's thanks to you that we made it to the surface to fight the demons. The shield maze fell, but Sol slowed everything down. He's an old man, he's afraid of everything. But we can't sit in the dark like root vegetables while the big things are happening up above. We tried to follow you through the shield maze. We emerged in some kind of fortress, but... There were too many demons there. Then we dug out another passage into the city. It took days, but we did it. We're ready to fight. Hmm. Go. Right now, we need everyone who can hold a weapon. I have a plan. Go below ground and wait at the shield maze exit. We'll get the beast at both ends. Why would we... Why would we do, why would we do that? Shouldn't we send them to, uh, to the inn? Well, you made it. Do whatever you need to do. Yeah. Uh, I guess they, they're already um, kind of meant to go out and fight demons. The young ones are holding up well, but will they be able to fight out in the open? Even I struggle with that. Land frowns. I hope we did the right thing. We are the crusaders of the underground. We will fight like our forebears did. So maybe it would have been a better idea to send them back. Might not end well. What kind of crossbow? Light crossbow. Yeah. So if I get a better one. I'm gone. Bodies have a variety of wounds. One is covered in burns, others in weapons and claw marks. It is safe to assume. They were decapitated post mortem. Yeesh. Is this the, uh, the end of the road? Follow my steps. Looks like it might be. Yeah, they are decapitated. Every strike count. They will break against our resolve.
Try to get rid of him. You crossed the wrong mongrel. Yeah, wait around here a bit. I'll hit you. Oh. Yeah, don't show this tutorial. You won't stop us. Attack. Excruciating. The inheritor, guide my blade. Go for their hearts. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, because she takes a... F she does... Hmm. Uh, when you do a double attack, you cannot use a potion. You won't survive me. Is this actually 
Summon a pet cat. Cat's feral instinct can, can provide a plus two morale bonus on perception and lore nature checks. Well? <laughs> Tread lightly. We should prepare. Oh, this is a bad house, right? Be careful, ah. everyone. Okay, it's just one. Wait, no, it's two. Make every strike count. Thinking, I kind of want to go back. I'm gone. Get some resting going, and maybe return here. Can we do that. All right. to form. Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self, bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. You there, girl. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. Uh, what? that I don't know her greetings boys and girls I am your sister in sin a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will and so on and so forth she looks like one of us but she talks kind of weird who's there with you who oh them just an audience they don't matter consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment Uh, let's shrug and remain silent. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all-powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. Say nothing. These answers are wrong. The correct answer is Isergal, a glaive made of red adamantine. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. 
Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course, everybody knows that. Yep, and a cow. It's an Arog, as a matter of fact. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. Hey, take it easy! We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll, we'll get the next one. Say nothing. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. <laughs> Please, ask again. I can answer, I'm sure I can. <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? B A F A Oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be fun, but instead there are all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village, back to my mother. Hey, wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks? Grab her and tie her up! And her entire entourage too! The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please, proceed. I won't interrupt. Save the last one for me. Hmm. Absence of an answer is an answer too. Man, I guess it's sad. The result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. What about you, girl? Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. Which colors does the goddess Iomade prefer? You're probably convinced that the correct answer is red and white. I would have said red and gold actually, but uh, red and white, all right. This answer is correct. It is comforting to meet at least one educated person in the melting pot of ignorance that is Canabras today. Let's proceed. Did Era didn't take part in any crusade before he died? Uh, I don't think so. He died before the Crusades, didn't he? You know for sure that Aaron died not long before the World Wound opened and the First Crusade began. No, he didn't. Your 
answer is correct. Aradin's death dates to 4606, and that is precisely the year when the World Wound was opened. The First Crusade started back in 4622. Your knowledge would make Mendev's Crusaders proud. My final question is, what is the title that Arilu Vorlesh bears? Is she the Architect of the World Wound, the Lord of the Labyrinth, or the Border Acquisitor of the Shapeless Abyss? I think she's the ar Architect of the World Wound. You don't know the answer. Do you think the gods are lucky enough to have three options to choose from? Um, yeah, I think she's the Architect. That's correct! Most excellent! You successfully answered all of my questions! Splendid! Amazing! This is a breakthrough! This... Oh, I thank you for your cooperation. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer, a pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great encyclopedia Galarianica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, I should say. I also know several spells. Now can you finally tell me what you're... What you were getting at with all these questions. Why do you keep calling me girl? I have a name, you know. Canabras isn't safe right now, so would you want Kvosis? I have to go. Uh, yeah, well, what did, what's the deal? It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. And I must admit that you passed the test with flying colors. This does offer a glimmer of hope for the future of crusade. I have always claimed that despite the popular beliefs about the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, at least some of them can be considered educated. It pleases me to see that I was correct. <laughs> Canabras isn't safe right now. Shall we join forces? I have to go. Yeah, I think Nenio is going to be one of those... Uh, one of those companions that I don't really care for taking taking out in in a group, taking with us. Maybe maybe we have to at some point for a for a quest of hers. But same goes for uh, for Darren, the noble. And you know th those might be the, those kinds of characters that um, they might redeem themselves later on, and it might be very interesting. But at first glance, I just I just don't like them. <laughs> um, but you know. Seeing as we, it as it might lead lead to a quest. Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my expeditions to the world wound? To assist me in my experiments? To run errands for me? Perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Oh, how splendid! Of course, I agree. Also, one thing I'll say about Nenio is that I kind of feel that her, um, kind of aesthetically, her her portrait doesn't fit compared to ev pretty much everything else. Truth be told, I'm I have no money to pay you, but you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. If you join forces, you have to follow my instructions during our expedition. You know, I should probably go. I agree. Sure, you do. Uh, you do what you need to do. Excellent. You're hired. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. Twenty-seven crusaders before you said no. Not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of my offer. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, taking that. Felchen. Master Composite Longbow. Ooh. I'd have to give that to... Uh... Why are you already wearing... Using one of those? No. Alright. Uh, where is it? Masterwork Composite Longbow. There you go. Hmm, you can also use Composite Longbows. 1 to 8 damage, 1 to 7 damage. Why are you not proficient? Seems like you are. Let's try it for a bit. I'll put the other one on your back. Because you might have a higher chance of hitting something now, right now. I don't know. Best 
plate. All right, that's medium armor. Continue. Survivors, survivors. Follow my steps. Show me your wares. Alright. These can go, these can go, these can go. These can go. Uh, these can go too. Cold iron longsword. Cold iron master whip. Yeah, this one can go. We can just sell it. Just sell radiance, just like that. Short sword. Hmm. I don't really know if we have use for this. Eh, so. There we go. Get some spending money. Seventeen thousand Earthbreaker. Masterwork light crossbow. Four hundred. Look who it is. The Thiefling raises a hand in greeting. Who would have thought that I'd end up in a Crusader army? In THE Crusader army, go figure. <laughs> Did Arabeth accept you? How can you help us when we attack the Great Gas and the Thiefling? Hmm. With open arms, she knows exactly who I am and wh where I'm from. But she's come with a convenient case of amnesia where, <laughs> where I'm concerned. And who can blame her? The city's in a bad way. You don't turn down help in a situation like this, no matter what quarters in what quarters it is, comes from. How can you help us when we attack? I'll tell you straight, we're not getting involved in any fighting. Warriors, we ain't. But we can scout, sneak right under the demons' noses, look for traps and hidden doors. In other words, we can smooth the path for your whole operation. And then all you have to do is go in there and go bump off some demons. Nothing to it. Hmm. All right. Good luck. Hmm. Right. Speak to Sila. The friends have returned. The Defender's Heart greets you with unexpected liveliness. Beyond the walls of the tavern, the once bustling and festive city lies in ruin, but somehow none of that can be felt within these walls. The people in the room are talking, laughing, raising toasts, even softly singing. It doesn't look like the typical tavern revelry, but nor is it grim vigilance of recent days. Sila waves at you. She is sitting at a table with the trio you met previously, the knight, the half-elf and the red-headed red halfling. Aladdin, come. Let me properly introduce you to Elan. Yana and Curl, the fearless warriors of the League of, Inspi of the Inspiring Cart. Sheila pushes a mug of beer towards you and so speaks softly. It was me who convinced Erebeth to use what Yana, Curl and Elan found for a little party. If you look at the window, you might think the end times have come to the abyss and the abyss has devoured us all. I thought some simple pleasures, Good food and good company could help us keep the gloom at bay. Sila looks at you hesitantly, as if trying to gauge your reaction. 
Let's see. Good. I understand. This isn't safe. Evil. Shrug silently. Yeah, we can be nice about it. Sure. Allow me to declare my support for Ushila's decision as well. Experience tells me we should shed no tears until after our victory. If we start to mourn the fallen while the battle is still raging, we'll be jeopardizing all our efforts. Now is the time to rest. We'll bury the dead after the last demon has been driven from Canabres. Yeah, hey, we're just gonna sit here with grim faces. I, s I say we get to know each other a little better. So we have better reason to toast. Let's see. Tell me about you and your order, Elan. As stories go, it's not very entertaining. I was born f to the far to the south in Endoran. Endoran. I lost my parents early, led the life of a simple mercenary, but often questioned the path I had chosen. I'm proud of my sword skills, I enjoy training and drills, and if and I'm not afraid of battle. But risking my life for coin, it takes a special mindset to choose that lot with no regrets. You have to want to risk your blood. I saw too many of my friends die, and I was wondering if it was worth it. So in the end I decided to choose another path. Now I'm going to lay down my life. At least it will be for a good cause. That's how I ended up in Mendev and became a squire of the Hound Hearts. It's a small order by tradition. It never has more than 12 members. And a new member is only knighted if after one of the elders dies. We patrol the land along the Wardstone line and provide aid to travelers and settlers. Unfortunately death is common among the Hound Hearts. I become I became a full knight two years ago after laying my mentor to rest, but I'm content with my choice. My place is among the Crusaders. Have you been serving the Eagle Watch for long, Yana? I signed up four days before the demon attack. Am I lucky or what? Yana lets out an ov obviously boisterous laugh. I'm an apprentice of a famous fencing master of, from Mivon, and I learned a thing or two from him. Believe me, I soon got bored of fighting off bandits and getting involved in the petty squabbles and bickering of river kingdoms I wanted a proper challenge and you can't get a better place than Mendev and what do you know the moment I arrived the demonic evasion began my father would say that's no accident fate brought me here yeah I don't really care for this Sheila did you call me over just because or something the matter I didn't just want to talk to you about today's celebration, you see. Elan's in, is in trouble. I want to help him, and I don't know anyone else in the city I can turn to. His fellow knights were all wounded in the battle. Elan shakes his head. Bad idea, sister, I told you. I don't want to bother any, anyone with, el with my problems. I need to handle them on my own. Oh, come on. Hiding your sadness from your friends is no way to live. Curl is right. Aladine, help me find you. Without her help, I'd still be looking for you all over... Canabras. All over Canabras. So, Elan, come on, stop being so stubborn. <laughs> I'm not interested. Tell me more. The young knight shakes his head. In all truth, I do not wish to impose my problems on... My problems are just minor troubles. A paladin of Yomide and her friend certainly have more important things to do, especially now that Canabras has been overrun by demons. If I've learned anything in life, it's that there's nothing minor about good and evil. Sheila begins seriously, but then a smile... And lights up a face. Take the three of you, for example. It seems like all you did was save one card from a from some lesser demon, but look at how many people are happy now. That feat will never be sung off in songs, but who knows, maybe thanks to this one joyous hour of peace and rest, the defenders of Canabas will find strength to protect the city. Sila catches her breath. I talk too much, don't I? Well, Sir Elan. I want to help you in my reputation as a holy warrior of Imidae. Yomide uh, won't suffer if it's m if it's more of a minor adventure than a glorious feat. The knight sighs and seems a little embarrassed. All right, I'll explain. The life of Crusader has given me more than just a purpose and a chance to serve a righteous cause. When I abandoned the life of a mercenary and came to Mendev, I gained something else I never expected. It's here that I met, may all the ladies here forgive me, the finest girl in all the world. It's a miracle she found any love in her own heart for a burglar, for a bungler like me. But I'm not about to let this miracle go. Not even the Lord, the demon Lord Descari and all his demons army can stand in my way. Luckily, my beloved is now safely away from Canabras for half a year. 
I've been getting up my courage to propose to her. I even ordered a ring from Derek Sunhammer, the best jeweler in Mendev. Independent nightly orders live mostly of donations. And I'm not what you would call rich, but I also want to make Kiana happy. Oh, it took me three months to find a jewel. The same shade as her eyes. And twice that long to scrape together enough money. Master Derek's work was worth it, but I lost the ring during the demon attack and I'll probably never find a worthy replacement. The ring is most likely still in the, at the Hound Hearts, Hound Hearts camp outside the city. Elon and his friends didn't have time to pack up their camp. First the demons ambushed them and then they rushed off to help Canabras. I think we should at least go there and check. Not right now, of course, but once the situation in the city is under control. Uh, what could we run into at this camp? Fine, uh, what will we run into? Um, my friends and I killed two large demons attacking the camps, then rode straight to the city without spending any more time cleaning up the rest of their band. I was, it was only a few imps, but they might still be at the camp, of course. This was long, this was a long time ago. Our camp was attacked at the same time as the wardstone in the main square, and I haven't been back there since. Fine, we'll help. Thanks for agreeing to help. Elan is a good man and a true knight, and I think the world should repay those who are so devoted to doing good. Let's help him, so he can propose to his beloved the way he wanted to. Campsite has been revealed. Sila, I hope you can convince Irabeth to let me go with you when you do this. I don't want to be parted from my friends. Of course, if the League of Inspiring Card has come together in this dark hour, we must continue onward together. Right, there we go. Uh, let's see. So we spoke to Fawn. Is there anything else we need to do in here? Kill Ramian. Stay of execution. Be prepared. The outcast. Talk to Fawn. Right. That is this gentleman over here. Let's have a word with him. Let's head out. We're about to disappoint this man. We let him. We met. Uh, we let Kalissa go. Kailessa. Fawn's melancholic expression remains calm, but his entire body tenses and his fingers wrap around the handle of his weapon. Under what circumstances? I hope you seize the opportunity to kill her. <laughs> she claims she doesn't serve the demons. Of course she does. In an attempt to buy her life, she would stoop to the boldest and most er egregious of lies. Whose word do you trust, hers or mine? Are you certain of your allegations? Vaughn lowers his head and says in a hollow voice, I am. Her misdeeds are terrible and proven with absolute certainty. You're not gonna like this, I'll let it go. After giving you a sad look, Vaughn stares off into the distance. Your decision is regrettable. I'm afraid that in doing so, you've condemned her many future victims to death. I suppose it just means that bringing his, this hunt to a close falls upon my shoulders. Good fortune to you. Yeah. Don't know how to feel about it. Um, right, let's buy a whole bunch of scrolls. What do we need? Scrolls of Blessed Weapon. Uh, summon monsters. It's pretty cheap actually, might as well get it. Um, can we... Um, Right. Don't shake her, corner wounds, resist. Yeah, I need a few of these. Let's get all of them. 900, okay.
There we go. Keep some money handy in case we need it. All right, let's see. Anything we need to do here? Stay of execution, be prepared, common cause, gather allies, find a storyteller, right? Scout the Tower of Estrad, go to Horcus's mansion with Camellia, Stolen Moon. Right. Dr. Nenyo. Visit the abandoned camp. Hmm. This doesn't have a timer on it, it seems. It's quite weird, because they told us to hurry. Anyway, I guess, uh, all right, can we still rest here? All right, I'll do that. Can you craft? All right, cooking. Character assigned to this position can brew potions and cook food at the same time. To cook a meal, they need to have the ingredients and know the recipe. Also, each character can cook a hearty meal, which doesn't require any recipes. Plus five movement. One temporary hit point. Scribing scrolls. They need to require spells. Oh, hang on. Before we uh, before we do this, actually, two days. There's Ember. Uh, let's get the spell books in order. Sure. Uh, even though I won't be using you. Okay, those are all set. Those are all set as well. What about you? Right, you can't get, cast those yet. Uh, you don't have a spell book. Okay, well, wasn't really necessary then. Can you scribe any? Scroll scribe's kit. Which we do not have. Bonus and all skill checks. Meh. Time for my daily assimilation training. The sun is not dangerous, Lan. It will not burn your skin. It will not blind you if you look at it. Love the sun. The sun is good. <laughs> kind of a shame that these are not voiced. They were in, pa in uh, Kingmaker. Yay, good hard meal. Kind of feel bad about resting taking so long. Why why wouldn't they just make it like uh, 10 hours or so? Yes, uh, right away. Why did the queen spare his life? She should have strung him up as a warning to all cultists. That she should have, sir. Ah. Oh. Leave Staunton alone. Tread lightly. Right. So, next time we'll um. Hey. Hmm. The strength, um... Hmm. 
cured itself. Maybe that that's one of the things that does go away with resting. Kind of the, the, the strength. Uh, yeah, we're up, uh, up to 19 again. Okay. Oh. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, call the episode here for now. Next time we'll continue on. We'll, we might go back to the main square once again to explore the rest of it. Or we could go to that... We could go to Horgus's Worms Mansion, or we could go to the place that uh, Wolgif needs to go. Anyway, we'll uh, figure something out. <laughs> but uh, for now, um, thank you for watching, and um, have a nice day, and farewell. <laughs>